there, boys, girls, schools, and squirrels. This is Zomboy17 of the 10th Stitch YouTube page, and I am here to answer a question I have seen asked a lot on the Reddit and on search boards, things like that. Is the shield worth it? And is the axe worth it? And these being two of my favorite combinations, I uh, have put together this little video to show you some of the benefits of using a shield. Uh, in combat and the things that it does I'll show you the stats and which axe is the best and is it good to level in sword and axe we'll just cover all of these questions so stay tuned stick around and hopefully you enjoy that all right so first up is taking a look at my shield the one I have is the best shield in the game that I know of it's the Bosch shield I don't know if I said that right it's a minimum strength of 5, defense of 150, has 20 charisma and 90 durability, but it's 6 weight. It's epic, and it also helps with these pesky archers, as I'm showing you right now. Uh, even if you're not blocking, if you stand at the right angle, it will stop the arrows, unlike right here. If you're just at the wrong angle, it will not stop the arrows which I cannot tell you how many times this has saved me just while I'm fighting some guy and all of a sudden I hear wham and I look down and there's an arrow in my shield now you can block directly and stop them and as you can see I spent quite a bit of time testing this theory with all of these arrows in my shield also another thing I wanted to bring up was just as far as keeping your weapon that you're using undamaged so that it does maximum damage in combat, the shield is great. So every time you block, it blocks a little bit faster than like axes or maces or war hammers. Those block really slow. So the shield is going to soak all of that damage. It's going to prevent you from getting hurt. And it's going to uh, just improve your quality of gameplay. Trust me. I mean, it, it's pretty easy once you get the hang of the grindstone to just sit down and grind your weapons, but if you're out doing like three or four quests at a time, it really pays off to have a shield with you. Especially if you're starting out, even like a common shield or one of the heavy shields you can loot off of a bad guy, if you're using a sword or something, it just, it keeps that weapon still viable and working. So on to the axe now. now so I'm using the metal plated axe, it's like the best uh, axe in the game as far as I'm concerned it's got a minimum strength of 14 which you'll have to train your strength up if you want to start with a good axe like a lower level axe I'd say definitely use the broad axe or just the axe that has the stabbing point on the top it's they're both really good um, not nearly as much damage as swords mind you but they still work very well so with the metal plated battle axe you've got the uh, three piercing because it doesn't have any really spike points to stab through things but you have the 40 slash and 45 blunt which is amazing uh, when you just smash onto someone with heavy plate armor it's not as good as a warhammer mind you but it's a balance you can slash those people who have light armor and then also get right through plate so just because of that sheer factor of I like to charge into battle just strike my enemies down with crushing blows to the head and face. It, uh, it really nails that aspect of the game. Um, unfortunately, this game is really built around swords, so I'm sure you could do a lot better with swords, but I have had no problem making it through the game with my axes. So I hope that helped you. I hope it's given you a little bit more information. I know not a lot of information is out about the game uh, and a lot of the mechanics. And this is just what I've experienced so far. So if you if you like the video, please like it down below, subscribe to the channel, and keep coming back.